Hey, YouTubers, let's have us a Bible study. I have my love letter. Let's look at markets. Let's see, market, markets, marketplace, and marketplaces. So let's go to Ezekiel. And we're going to look at market first. We want Ezekiel 27. And we want to start with 13. And we want to work down to 25. Javelin, Tubal, and Misha, they were the merchants. They traded the persons of men and vessels of brass in thy market. They of the house of Ta to Gomorrah traded in thy fares with horses and horsemen and mules. The men of Dildan were thy merchants. In the in many isles were the merchandise of thy hand. They brought three thee for the present horn of ivory and ebony. Syria was the merchant, merchant by reason of the multitude of the where, the where of the, thy making. They occupied in thy fairs with emeralds, purple, and bordered work, and fine linen, and coral, and agate. Judah, and the land of Israel, they were thy merchants. They traded in the, thy market wheat of Menes, and pan nag, and honey, and oil, and palm. Damascus was thy merchants in the multitude of where of thy making for the multitude of all riches in the wine of the hillborn and white wool dan also and javelin going to and fro occupied in thy affairs bright iron casa and kelm kel a must were in thy market dildan dedan was thy merchant, his precious clothes for chariots. Arabia and all the princes of Kedor, they occupied with thee in lambs, and rams, and goats, and these were thy, thy merchants. The merchants of Sheba and Ramah, they were thy merchants, they occupied in thy affairs with chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold. Haran and Kana and Eden, the merchants of Sheba, Asher and Chilmad were thy merchants. These were thy merchants in all sorts of things in blue clothes and bordered work and in chest of rich apparel bound with cords and made of cedar among thy merchandise. The ships of Tarshish did sing of, those, of thee in thy market, and thou wast replenished and made very grievous in the midst of the sea. Let's go to Matthew, and we want seven, and we want one through six. Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with that judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye might, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou and the mote that is in thy brother's eye, and considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye? Thy hypocrite, first cast out the beam of thine own eye, then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they Trample them under their feet, and turn again and rent you. 
I have something to say about this now. Now, let's just say that um, I don't go to bars, but you go to bars. Okay? If I am not going to a bar and I think you shouldn't go to a bar and I tell you, there's the beam in my eye is not on that subject. I should still tell you, look, God does not want you going to no bars. You need to quit going to a bar. Okay? And this is pretty well much saying that if you and, a, uh, you and somebody else are talking about uh, Christianity, God's Word, and, you, and one of you don't believe what the other one is saying, and I'll... And you know you're right because you read the Bible a lot and they don't. Or even they read the Bible but they're in the new age. Can you get where I'm coming from? Then try to teach them. But don't force yourself on them. Don't give your... Uh, uh, what, the, what you think. You give them what God says. And you'll be okay on that. So let's go to John... And we want five. And we want two and three. Now, there is at Jerusalem, by the sheep market, a pool which is called, in the Hebrew tongue, Beth, Beth Sheda, having five porches. And in they lay a great multitude of important folk. A blind, help, withered, wanting for the moving of the water. All right, let's go ahead and read number four. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Where, whosoever, then first after the troubled of the water stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Let's go to Acts. And we want 17. And we want to start with 16 down to 18. Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was, shared, was stirred in him when he saw the city walling given to adultery. Therefore, despite he, dispute he in the synagogue, with the Jews and with the devout persons in the market daily with them that met with him. Then certain philosophers of the Epicens of the Starks encountered him, and some said, What will this blabber say? Others some he seemed, seemed to be a shudder forth of a strange God, because he preached unto them Jesus and the resurrection. Now let's look at markets. So we'll go back to Matthew 11. Matthew 11. Okay, where are you at? One more. There we go. And we want to start with 13 and work down to 17. For all the prophets and the law prophesied unto John. And if ye will receive it, this is Elias which was for to come. He, he that has an ear, let him hear. But whosoever shall I like in this generation, it is like unto the children sitting in the market and calling unto their fellows, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced, and we have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented. Let's go to 23. Matthew 23. And we want 1 through 8. Then spoke Jesus to the multitude and his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sat in Moses' seat. All, therefore, whatsoever they bid, to, bid you observe, 
that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous unto their to be born, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works do, for to be seen of men, they make beard broad their philosophies, and enlarge their borders of their garment, and love the uttermost room at feast, and the chief seat in the synagogue, and greeting in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But ye be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Let's go to Luke. Matthew, Mark, Luke. Okay, we want Luke 11, and we want 42 down to 44. But woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye tithe men, and rue all the manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of God. Those ought ye to have done, and not leave the other undone. Woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye love the uttermost seats in the synagogue, and greeting in the markets. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Let's go to uh, Luke 20. Well, am I going to be able to turn it? We want to start with 46 and read 40 to 47. Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and love greeting in the market and the highest seat in the synagogue and the chief room at feast, which devour widows' houses and for the shadow show making long prayers the same shall receive greater damnation i think they're talking about the roman catholic church here all right now let's look at market place so now let's go back to matthew and we want 20. matthew 20 and we want 1 through 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers in his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them to his vineyard. <coughs> and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out, and found others standing idle, and said unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man had hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when evening was come, and the Lord of the vineyard said unto the steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the least unto the first. And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. But when the first came, they supported that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. And when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house, saying, These least have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burdens and the heat of the day. And he answered one of them and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong. Didst not thou agree 
with me for a penny. Take that is thine is and go thy way. I will give unto this last even as unto thee. Is it not lawful for me to do that what I will with my own? Is mine I evil because I am good? So the last shall be first and the first shall be last. For many be called, but few choose them. That right there pretty well much sounds to me like that's the way heaven's going to be. So, whoever's first in heaven is going to receive the same reward as the person that is last. Okay, let's go to Luke. And we want seven. And we want 31 through 35. And the Lord said, Where unto then shall I liken the man of this generation, and to what are they like? They are likened to children sitting in the marketplace, and calling one to another, and saying, We have piped unto you, and you have not danced. We have mourned unto you, and you have not wept. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread or drinking wine, and ye say he has a devil. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking. And ye say, Behold, a gluttonous man, and a wine barrier, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of all her children. Let's go to Acts 16. <clears throat> And we want 16 through 21. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel, damsel possessed with the spirit of the vision met us, which brought her master much gain by soothsaying. This same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, these men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. <coughs> and when her master saw that the hope of their their gain was gone. They caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them into the uh, magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do ex exercise trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being a Roman. Okay, let's go to marketplaces. And let's go to Mark. And we want 12. And we want 38 through 40. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes which love to go in long clothing and love a uh, uh, salutations in the marketplaces and the chief seat in the synagogues and the utmost room of the feast was to devour widows houses for the <coughs> for repentance make long prayers who shall receive greater damnation okay I looked it up in my concordance and all of them were the same number and that was 58 and it means the town square as a place of public resort, a market, or through fair, a market street. Well, YouTubers, I kind of got off on a slower start today, but I think I ended up being okay. I love you guys, and I hope I do a good job for you guys, because I sure do love you, and I want us to learn what God's Word says. If I can do anything for you, let me know. Love you. Bye.